So now we're going to discuss a bit about the one-tail test and two-tail test. So as we learned just now, we want to test whether our sample is from the population with a sample mean. Okay? And as long as the sample is different, either it's larger or smaller, we will reject the no hypothesis and we will go for the alternative hypothesis. So we only want to know the difference. Okay? Whether it's larger or smaller, both of them are considered the differences. So in this case, when we calculate the sample mean and also obtain the calculated Z score, we will reject the no hypothesis whether the Z value is 4 on the either side of the standard normal curve. Okay. However, sometimes we will ask a more specific hypothesis. We want to check whether our sample is from a population where the population mean is larger than a certain value. Okay, so this is another type of the statistical hypothesis. So in this case, we will ask the question whether it's larger or equal. Okay. The alternative will be smaller than. So in this case, our z value, okay, the critical value will be different. because you only refer to the one tail. So it's different from the two tail test where the probability is the sum of the two sides, okay, the area under curve, while in the one tail test, it's only from the one side, okay, either side. So similarly, we can ask a question which is not larger and equal, but smaller and equal than, okay. Then our alternative should be the opposite. So in this case, our critical value is 1.645 for the p equal to 0 0.05. Okay. So as you can see here, our p value is still the same, but our z value will be different okay? because it's a probability for only one of the extreme side of the standard normal curve. So the only difference is the hypothesis and also your significant level. So when you determine your significant level, let's say alpha equal to 0 0.05, then you have to mention your test, whether it's a one-tail test or two-tail test. So in the next lectures, we're going to demonstrate this by using t-test. So now you should be able to perform one sample z test, okay, and select one-tail or two-tail test, depend on the hypothesis.